Amen, amen. Hello, children. How are you this great morning? We are very grateful that you've even taken time to join us this morning. We pray that wherever you are in your homes, you are blessed and you are excited to have an amazing day, an amazing service because we are going to have big, big fun. Come on, let's show them big, big fun. I want to know how to do it with us. Big, big fun. And for us to have that big, big fun, we have amazing teachers who apparently all the names start with an F. On my right side, Teacher Frida. And on my left, Teacher Felix. Yes, it's him. And we are going to have an amazing service. I want you to rest wherever you are, sit, ask your mummies and daddies to join you so that we may have this great, great service. And for us to begin, we shall have two, two songs. And, and I pray that wherever you are, you may stand, you may dance, you may even worship God. Amen. Do like this, worship God. And we're going to have a, a great time in the presence of God and we are going to enjoy. Amen. Are you ready, teachers, to make melodies? Amen. Amen. My heart, making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart to the King of Kings, making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart to the King of Kings. Thumbs in. Melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart. Woo! Making melodies in my heart to the King of Kings. So thumbs in, thumbs in, Melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart to the King. Our kings comes in, in, elbows out, knees bent, melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart, woo, making melodies in my heart to the king of kings. Comes in, elbows out, knees bent. Feel a part, making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart to the king of kings. Thumbs in, elbows out, knees bent, feet apart, turn around, making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart to the King of Kings. Thumbs in, elbows out, knees bent, feet apart, turn around, turn around. In my heart, making melodies in my heart to the King of Kings. Woo! Woo. Amen, amen, amen. And we want now to worship God. And even as we worship God, I want us to pray. 
and even invite the presence of God in our homes, in wherever, in the places we are, and let us invite the Holy Spirit. So let us put our hands together and pray. Dear Lord, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you because you love each and every children and you love us, O oh God. We thank you even for this time, even as we praise you, as we worship you, as we listen to your word, as we are taught by our teachers. May you help us to concentrate. May you bless us, bless our mommies and daddies. May you bless every child that is watching this morning. We thank you and we praise you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Up, up, Jesus. Down, down, Satan. Glory be to God. Hooray! Amen. Let us now worship the Lord. Nothing was more that never comes. Nothing can compare. Your living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tested and seen. Of the sweetest of love, we've hardly come free, and with chain is undone. Your presence flows. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you are in our presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you are in our homes. You are upon every child this morning. And we thank you because you are blessing us. Thank you because through your spirit we are receiving healing. We are receiving joy and gladness in our hearts, O oh God. In Jesus' name we have worshipped. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Up, up, Jesus. Down, down, Satan. Glory be to God. Hooray. Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope that you have been blessed in your homes, in your families. Now, today we are going to look at a very very special topic and this is about the holy spirit the holy spirit do you know who the holy spirit is today we are going to learn about the holy spirit and we are going to read from the book of acts chapter 2 verse number 1 to verse number 13 and I pray wherever you are, get your Bible, get your notebooks, sit down and let us learn the word of God. So get your Bible wherever you are, open the book of Acts chapter number 2 verse 1 to 13. And when you get there, shout hooray in your home. Amen. Acts chapter number 2, verse 1 to 13. And this is what the Bible says. When the day of Pentecost came, all the believers were gathered together in one place. 
Suddenly, there was a noise from the sky which sounded like a strong wind blowing and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then they saw what looked like tongues of fire which spread out and touched each person there. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to talk in other languages as the Spirit enabled them to speak. There were Jews living in Jerusalem, religious people who had come from every county in the world, every country in the world they had gathered. When they heard this noise, a large, a large crowd gathered. They were all excited because all of them had the believers talking in their own languages. In amazement and wonder, they exclaimed, these people are talking like this, and they're Galileans. How is it then that all of us hear them speaking our own native languages? We are from Parthia, Media, Elam, from Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, from Pontus and Asia, from Phrygia and Pamphylia, from Egypt and the regions of Libya near Cyrene. Some of us are from Rome, both Jews and Gentiles converted to Judaism, and some of us are from Crete and Arabia. Yet all of us hear them speaking in our own languages about the great things that God has done. Amazed and confused, they kept asking each other, what does this mean? But others made fun of the believers, saying, these people are drunk. Amen. That is the word of the Lord. And I want us, even before we listen to our first teacher, who is teacher Frida, I want us to sing one song as you also continue looking at what we have just read about the coming of the Holy Spirit upon the disciples. Amen. And peekaboo, here comes teacher Frida. I hope you had a great, great week and you are ready for our service today. Do you remember what we learned last week about going up, 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 and up? Now what happened after that? See, what can you see? Yeah, you're right. It's fire. Great. So teacher Frida is going to be teaching us about uh, what happened in this picture. And as uh, teacher uh, Jimmy read about the Holy Spirit and the tongues of fire, teacher Frida is going to teach us about that. Now, only in this session we are allowed to show our tongues. It is not very good to stick tongues. It is not very good. It is not good manners. But I just want to know whether you know your tongue. So show me your tongue. Only this time you are allowed to show me. So show me. Good. Yes, that's your tongue. So you know your part of, your, uh, of the body. You know the part of your body and that is lovely. So we have read in Acts. Okay, friends, open with me. Acts. Let's go. Let's open. Very good. Yes, so we start from chapter 2, verse 1. Now, as we move on to um, down all the way to verse 13, there are some things that I would like you to take note. We are going to have very, very interesting lesson about some fire that came over. So, the Bible says that when the day of Pentecost came, all the believers were gathered together. So some people, the believers and the disciples were gathered together. <gasps> Tell your friends, suddenly. Say that. Suddenly. Okay, we can call it suddenly. Let's go that. Suddenly. Very good. If you like it, you can say suddenly because you're learning good English. Great. So uh, all of a sudden, there was a big, big sound that sounded like wind, like 
Can you please help me make that big, big noise and sound? Let's go. Guess what? Guess what, friends? It was filled with, the house was filled with a, a very, very big sound and everybody stopped. Then, on everybody's head, something really, really fun happened. I would, I would wish to be there. On their head, there was a tongue of fire on everybody's. Now look around, who is at home with you? There is my grandma, there is my auntie, my brother, my baby brother is here. Everybody, everybody in that room got a tongue of fire on their head. That was fun. I'd say, oh, mommy, look at my tongue on the head. Daddy, look at yours, you have big one. And everybody goes around and says, look at mine. So everybody got a tongue of fire. <gasps> but were they burning? No. Just like the burning bush we learned about, they were not burning. But something very, very fun happened. They learned new languages. When the fire came over on their heads, they learned new languages. Where was this fire coming from? It was the Holy Spirit. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit came and rested on their heads like a tongue of fire on them and everybody felt nice. And that day they learned good English. They learned Kikuyu. They learned many, many languages. And be when they started speaking in many languages, telling God, you are good, you are big. I believe some people are even singing, my God is so big. Huh? Oh, very good. People were talking about how good God was. And they were telling him, you are good. I would have wished to say that in, um, in French. I don't know what to say, but the spirit taught them what to say. So they said, God, you are big. You know me. You love me. You have blessed me with good clothes. You have given me parents. You have protected my family and we've not gotten coronavirus. You are good. You are great. And now those people who understood their language out there came closer to find out, oh, these people are speaking in my language. They know how to speak in my language. And now that way they could talk to them and tell them in their languages and tell them that God is good. So we are learning that the Holy Spirit rested on their heads. That was the most fun thing I read this week. Can you imagine some sort of fire resting on your head and you're not burning? Please let's not try this. Don't put any fire on your head, yeah, because you'll burn. This was the Holy Spirit, God in the Holy Spirit coming over all the believers as we read last week that they were taught by Jesus to go and wait in Jerusalem. So when they were there and they went upstairs, the fire of the Holy Spirit came over them like tongues of fire and everybody everybody got a tongue on their head, a tongue of fire. So that was a very, very amazing thing. So when we ask God to help us, when, uh, when God comes to our lives, when Jesus lives in your heart, show me your heart, yes. When Jesus lives in your heart, the Holy Spirit lives in your heart, and that way you can understand the needs of other people. You can understand what to tell your friends. You can understand what to say to the other people about the greatness of God, that God is good, that God loves them. Why? Because the fire of the Holy Spirit, the tongue, the Holy Spirit is on you. So I would like us to, 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 to practice something that tells the Holy Spirit, come dwell on me. So we go like this. Holy Spirit, follow me. Let's do that. Holy Spirit, follow 
me teacher felix do you mind helping me on this let's go let's do it holy spirit follow me teacher jimmy would you like to help me do you want a fire a tongue of fire on your on your head let's do it holy spirit follow me one more time holy spirit follow me well done how about we clap well done to these great great teachers well done well done teachers try again another day teachers one two three Mung. awesome that is lovely kindly see it so i am a bible reader 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 the holy spirit the holy spirit came down came down like tongues of fire like tongues of fire like tongues of fire like tongues of fire the holy spirit the holy spirit came down came down like tongues of fire like tongues of fire and if you know sorry you and if you want to know and if you want to know that i know the bible that i know the bible teacher jimmy come let's dance to a song yeah. because we know the bible yeah. awesome let's go amen dance let us stand up wherever you are stand up let's go Let's appreciate teacher Frida. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Let's go. We are going to do the one, two, three. Okay, we go this way. One, two, three. Aha. One, two, three. Aha. One, two, three. Ma. Wow, wow, wow. Hallelujah. Now, story time, guys. Story, story. Story time. Go. Story, story, story come and never go. This is a true story. The story is recorded in the Bible. Come with me to a Bible, uh, a scripture in the Bible in Genesis chapter 11. But don't read it. I'll tell you what you need to do. I'll tell you the entire story. The world has been created by God. And then there is this wonderful man called Noah. Yeah? Noah comes up with uh, uh, an ark. The ark is used by God to save his family and a group of many, many, many animals. There was a cat. There was a pig. There was a cow. The lion was there. And many, many, many other animals. Then there, it happens that there is a lot of water Filling the whole world. Let me tell you what happens. The whole world is swept away. Then, after a while, the ark goes up and up in the water. We can see the family of Noah and all the animals that gathered in the ark, inside that um, ark. What happens? God lowers the water again. The water goes away. And at one point, the ark settles somewhere. His family, that is Noah and his family, settle down. And they now come out. Oh, it's a new world. There are no more people. There are no trees are starting to sprout. They are coming up. New trees. Let me tell you what happens. Some people start moving around. God starts spreading the people in, who are in the ark around the world. The wives of the sons of Noah and many other people. Lamplighters. My friends. You know the story. And we are told that the people started moving. Some of them from all the way from America, others from Africa. They were spread around the world. Then they came, according to Genesis chapter 11, they came to a place. Hmm. And they settled there. It was a plain, a big plain, like we are plains in Masailand in Kenya. 
they settled there. Then a group of men said, hmm, let's build a big house. A big one that will be known. Everyone from all over the world will see us. And they will say, that house belongs to these people. And they will come and recognize us. So they built a big, big, a tall house. It was going to the heavens. It was going. It was going. Then look at what happened. God from heaven. So these guys were coming together. They were united. Hmm, there is something about unity. They were united. They were all together working together. One was bringing the hammer. Another one was bringing a brick. Another one was doing the koroga. The koroga is the ballast and the concrete. They were doing it together. And they were bringing it to come and build the house. And the house was going higher and higher. God in heaven said, let's go down. Remember, Teacher Frida has taught us about the God, the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. They said, let's descend. Let's come down and see what these people are doing. They came and did that. They saw the people who are united, and they were doing it, and they were going up, and they were going up. God said, hmm, if these guys continue like this, the way they, was, they are so united, they speak so well together, they communicate very well, something is going to happen. They are going to build the house, it's going to get to heaven. Hmm, God said, how about we do something? Let's spread these people differently. And the best way to do this is to confuse them in their language. Let one speak German, like Teacher Frida said. Let others speak in French. Others are going to speak in Chinese. Hey, some of them are going to speak in Kiswahili. Others are going to speak in Japanese. Let us make them, let's make all these people speak in Kikamba, in Kikuyu, in the law, and others in Luo, Aluya. Some people are speaking Maasai. So while someone was carrying a brick, he started jumping like a Maasai, and jumping like a Maasai, and the brick would fall down. Another one would be speaking, saying, give me that, 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 uh, that shovel, give me that spade. Hey, the man on the other side, because he cannot understand that language, he's speaking in Germany. Hmm. He would say, oh, you need a knife? He would speak in his language, in, in Chinese. And then, what would happen? He would give out a knife instead of giving a wheelbarrow. Hmm, there was confusion here. People were starting to get worried and pressured. They did not know what to do. Oh, they said, how about we give up this? So one of them said, you are not listening to me. You are not listening. To so they came down. One of them came down to the house, uh, from the house, and they left the house. Others who were, others were remained there building. They don't know how to do it. They gave up. They did not build the house anymore. They gave up building the house. Because God wanted them to stop that. They spread now. They started moving around. They left the big dream of making a name for themselves. They moved. Some of them came to Africa. Some other people came to, um, to, to, to the Arab world. Saudi Arabia. Others settled in Americas. The northern southern America. Some people went to all the way to a small tiny land called Israel and they settled there. Others moved to another one called Babylonia, which is the current Iraq. I know you know that. I know you know the story. Some people moved all over the world. So the Germans went to Germany. You can tell what, uh, what Kenyans went to. They went to Kenya. The Americans went to South America and they started speaking their language. The South Americans the Latin language was born. The Kikuyu language was born. All the languages of the world were born. But God is uh, mighty. Our God is big. Our God is strong. And our God is wise, wise and mighty. He knew what he was doing. He was not making a mistake. He was not just confusing these people. So one day, after Jesus has come to the world, and he has been crucified, hmm, Something happens. He has died. He has gone to heaven. Teacher Frida taught us about ascension. Going up in the, in the heavens. And then he sent the Holy Spirit. And so, just as it was in the times of Noah. In the, just as it was in the times when they were building that tower. The tower of Babel. Or Babel, some people say. 
just as it was. These guys were in the upper room. We have read in Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to verse 13. They were in the house, all of them together. And they were praying, just as you can see from my book here. Some of them were praying. They were praying as Teacher Frida's taught us. Praying and praying. In a, an, an, a room up there. They were celebrating. Because it was 50 days after Jesus had been crucified. The day was the day of Pentecost. Something happened. Something strange happened. As they were praying and celebrating, something happened. The tongues of fire came upon them. There was a big, loud wind flowing around in the room. And they started praying in the Germanies. Remember, these are, most of them were Jews. Most of them actually were Jews. Yeah? Israelites who were praying. The disciples of Jesus, the 12 of them, of course, because Judas had been, uh, has been replaced by Matthias. They were there praying, praying, and many other people had joined them. But look at what happened. As they were praying, and the tongue of fire was settling on their head, and the wind was blowing in that room, they started, some of them started saying, I love you, Lord. Others were saying, Team, Lord. Another one was saying, Ninguendetem, I. Another one was saying, Ninguendetem, guy. And so many of them were speaking different languages. Hmm. The, loud, the prayer was becoming loud and loud. Because they were up there, me people from around who are also celebrating on the day of Pentecost started hearing them. Hmm. Because it was a celebration, people had moved from Libya. Libya is in Africa, guys. Egypt in Africa. Others from the Arab world. We have read in a certain verse, that verse, uh, verse 7, I think, that we have read that these people were coming from all the parts of the world. Some of them were Jews who had moved to other countries of the world. Some of them had gone to America. Others had gone to Africa. Others had gone to Asia, in China, and other places. Now they had gathered for a party. But now they were speaking different languages because they had developed other languages where they had gone. Some of them were Latin. Others were speaking different languages. The Bible is telling us these people had the, other, the disciples who were Jews speaking in Germany. They had them speaking another language. Maybe they were speaking in Kikuyu. I don't know. Others were speaking in Luo. Maybe they were speaking and they were saying, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. You are wonderful. You are good to me. And you can tell me in your language. You can say, God, you are good to me in your language. I'm going to say in mine. Can you say yours? Just say it the way you want. You want to say, I love you, God. Say in your language. Say, Teacher Jimmy, say. Say, Matena. Teacher Frida, say. Oh, there are so many languages here. Those are the languages from the Tower of Babel. But now God was uniting these people through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is, is the God who brings, who, brings, who brings unity among brethren. He brought the whole world together on that day, on the day of Pentecost. And brothers and sisters, friends, I want you to know something from this scripture we have read today. When the Holy Spirit came upon them, something strange happened. They were speaking different languages. This means our God was able to disperse the people in the times of the Tower of Babel, but now in this new dispensation, in this new time, hallelujah, this new time, God is bringing every language together. You, maybe you are Chinese and you are hearing me. Maybe you are Germany. Maybe you are, uh, you, are, you are Meru, a person from Meru. Oh, are you American? I don't know. You can tell me that. Are you from Akikuyu land? Are you from Nairobi? Are you from Mombasa? Are you from Dar es Salaam? Are you from Germany? Are you from what country? Are you from Paris? Are you from Shanghai? Are you from New York? Are you hearing me from today, uh, on this day? I'm telling you, Jesus came for you. And so the Holy Spirit was brought, uh, uh, came, and then confirmed that different languages are accepting Jesus. You too can accept Jesus. And so the, you are a child, your mom is there, your dad is there, this is an opportunity for you. The Holy Spirit has come to everyone. He has come to every language. He has come to every soul of the world. So do not sit down and, and say, it's not about me. This is for Jews. The Jews spoke in different languages, meaning every person God wanted them to be part of this. And so Christianity 
is the only religion again where we are reminded that you cannot come to God without Jesus himself. And the Bible says, those who come to me come under the conviction of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit convicts you to come to God. As he convicts you, Jesus says, is the way. So then through Holy Spirit, through Jesus himself, one becomes a child of God, the Father. What a beautiful time to know this. That it is possible that you've not believed in God. Yes, I know some of you, your mom and dad are Christians. Some of you, your mom and dad and your grandmama and your grandfather, all of them. They are believers in Jesus Christ, but you've never had an opportunity to believe in this Jesus. I'm telling you, today is your day because the Holy Spirit is here. See this? The Holy Spirit is here. Are you, are you with me? The Holy Spirit, Spirit is, is here. here. He is here for me. He's here, here for me. He is here for me. He is here for me. He wants to convict me. He wants to convict me. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, he makes you a different person. He changes your life. He makes you a child of God. And we are told that once the Holy Spirit has come on you, you can even speak in a different language because the Lord gives you tongues of fire which set us in your mouth. And you speak the language of heaven, guys. Can you imagine? Saying words that you don't even understand, but God understands. And the angels can minister to you. And the Spirit of God settling on you, speak in different languages. How awesome is that? But the most important thing is, when the Holy Spirit comes on you, you convicts you. Yes, Jean, you could be at home, and you could be hearing me. And you are saying, but my mom is born again, and that's why I'm born again. No, you have to make that decision yourself. Grace, you can hear me from home. And I'm telling you, at this moment, Holy Spirit can come on you. Can you lift your hands right now? Lift your, hand, uh, your hands right now and tell the Holy Spirit, would you come on me? Holy Spirit, would you come on me? Holy Spirit, would you speak to me? Holy Spirit, would you minister to me? Holy Spirit, would you minister to my life? In Jesus' name. That is what the, the Holy Spirit is doing today. He is convicting the hearts of men. It doesn't matter your language. It doesn't matter how small you are. You could be a child of three years, four years, five years, 15, 12, 10. You could be a dad. Hmm. You are seated with your children there. And I'm telling you, you can be ministered by the Holy Spirit at this time. So let's all join our hands together and we welcome the Holy Spirit. And let's do this together. Let's go. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Minister to me. Minister to me. Touch my life. Touch my life. Touch my studies. Touch my studies. Minister to my life. Minister to my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come with me as we read our memory verse in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. The Bible says, God has made us what we are and in, uni in our union with Christ Jesus, he has created us for a life of good deeds which he has already prepared for us to do. Hmm. What a wonderful scripture. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Holy Spirit speaking to our lives and saying, God, God has made us what we are. He has made us in our different languages. And in our union with Christ Jesus, because he has joined us with Christ Jesus, God with us. He has created us for a life of good deeds, which he has already prepared for us. Practice that memory verse. On next Sunday, we are going to rehearse this together. We have been learning that throughout the month of May. And so, towards the end of this month, we are going to rehearse it together. Get ready. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. We have learned so many things about the Holy Spirit. How he convicts the hearts of men and women and children and babies. Yeah? And so we, I'm going to ask you several questions. Are you ready for the questions? Yes. Question number one. Take your notebook and write, Why were all the believers gathered in one place? Why were all the believers gathered? The disciples of Jesus and the people who are there gathered in one place. 
Number two, what did the Holy Spirit look like? Hmm. And what did the believers, number three, what did the believers do when they were filled with the Holy Spirit? What happened to the believers? What did the believers do when they were filled with the Holy Spirit? Number four, what did the crowd that was making fun of them say? Yeah, there were some people there who did not believe. What were they saying? What did the crowd that was making fun of them say? Number five, who do you think sent the Holy Spirit? Hmm, we learned that and we have continued to learn. Who do you think sent the Holy Spirit? Why did he do that? Why did he do so? Why did he send the Holy Spirit? Number six, what is the meaning of Pentecost? What is the meaning of Pentecost? And the last one is, what have you learned today? What have you learned today about the Holy Spirit? What have you learned today about the Holy Spirit? Friends, the way to answer all those questions is by studying the word. You study the word from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 1 to 13. Remember, it is possible as you speak the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ, as you speak the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit that came like a strong wind, some people are going to despise you. Some people are going to say, hmm, these guys are just drunk. These guys are bored. They just, they don't know, how to, they don't know Netflix. These guys don't know how to watch movies. These guys don't know how to dance. These guys don't know. Remember, the Holy Spirit is the one to convict them. So what do you need to do? Pray for them. Pray for them. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to grow. If you want to grow. If you want to grow. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to grow yeah now help me in welcoming our pastor pastor grace garuya to come and pray for us as we break yeah let's do it this way well done well done teacher grace well again, again another day teacher grace one two three Mungu akubariki. Karibu mam. Wow, 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 wow. It is such a miracle to have such wonderful teachers. We are just so, so blessed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What a wonderful time we have had before the Lord. It's a miracle to have such wonderful teachers, children. Please, Teacher Frida, would you join me to appreciate Teacher Felix? Sure, ma'am. So here we go, Teacher Felix. You are awesome. And we would like to appreciate you in one of our most, most fun ways. All right. Show me your hands. Very good. So when I say omokono, you go omokono. 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 Omogoro. 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 And we go Yeah. Thank you. Okay, okay. I think that is a good one. I I'm just here to just come to bless you, children, and to say thank you. Uh, always remember to tune in 
uh, in our YouTube, uh, Gospel Centers, International Thika Road, Kenya. We are here to minister to the children. We are teachers of the King's King Children's Church, and we always enjoy ministering to children. Remember to tune in for the... Um, for the Zoom classes on Saturdays from 11 to 12 midday and Sunday YouTube from 9 a.m. We are here to minister to you. I thank you so much teachers even for sharing the great word of God from the book of Acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 13. One thing that I have been reminded is that our God is a faithful God. Christ promised the disciples when he was flying up, when during that time of ascension, he told them to wait in Jerusalem. And they waited, so obedience is very important. They were told to wait in Jerusalem, and they waited. And the other thing is that Christ was faithful to fulfill his promises, that I will send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was sent by Jesus himself. And why did they need the Holy Spirit? It's because they needed the Holy Spirit to be their teacher. If you read from the other scriptures in the Bible, we are told that the Holy Spirit is the teacher, and he teaches us to know God better. Like teacher Felix has told us, he's the one who convicts men and women about, the sal about salvation. And therefore, we need the Holy Spirit to be our helper, to teach us to remember things that we were taught by Christ, and also to reveal to us things that are to come. And I must say that also God must prove to people that he is God. He made sure that the Holy Spirit came during the day of Pentecost. When all the people from all over the world, I come from Africa, I'm happy to hear there are people from Egypt, from, from Libya, who came there, so I was, there was no excuse. Arabia, all the Arab countries were represented. The Holy Spirit had to come when everybody was there so that there would be witnesses of the power of God. And we are told that it was so powerful. They had a sound, a heavy sound, and there was fire, and they were able to speak in other tongues. I am saying that we believe in, our power, in a powerful God. When Christ was ascending, there were witnesses to see him ascend. There is nothing like against her work here. We are not talking about theory. It's reality with witnesses from all over the world. I don't want to water down really what has been said, but I could not go without mentioning that. And so me, I'm here excited to know that I have accepted the conviction of the Holy Spirit. I have received the Holy Spirit in my heart. I have received Jesus Christ in my heart. And Jesus, through Jesus Christ, I'm able to reach my God in heaven, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the creator of heaven and earth. Children, please tune in to learn more. We have great teachers, and I believe God will continue to bless us. Please, where you are seated, stand up in honor of God. Yes, stand up. Let us put our hands together to pray together as I say the benediction. Father, this morning, we are just so, so, so grateful for the things you have done in our lives, O King of Glory. You have been so kind to us, Almighty Father, even to bring us teachers who have taught us the word of God, O dear Lord. We want to thank you, Lord, because the word of God is like a two-edged sword, and it's there to cut our hearts, my Father, and even be implanted in us, my Father, even to grow seeds, my Father, that are going to bear fruits for you, my Father. I pray that that, that word that has been spoken here, my God, before my Father witnesses all over the world in the YouTube, my Father. Oh, God will be like a seed that has fallen on a ready ground, oh dear Lord, on a fatal ground, my Father, and it will grow up to the, to to spring up into a big tree with the fruits, my Father. I pray that everyone that has listened to us, my Father, this word shall work in them, my Father, through the power of the Holy Ghost, O oh dear Redeemer. And you will continue, my God, to transform their lives, my Father. I pray for the little children, my Father, in promise class, O oh God. I, pro I pray, Father, for those that are bigger in the lamplighters class and the preteens that are in the pesetas class, my Father. That Jesus Christ, at the 
their level, my Father, you shall send your spirit upon them to teach them more about you, O God, to teach them your word. We pray that those who are not saved will receive you as their personal Savior so that they may sell in the, in the, in the, in the Holy Spirit power, my God, so that they are able to conquer the world, to conquer diseases in the name of Jesus. I want to speak good health. I want to speak divine protection upon every child that has listened to us, my Father. I pray none of them will get COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. I pray God you will protect us and you will bring a solution to the nation, so God. About my father, what is going to my father to bring a remedy even for this disease my father the infectious disease my god father we cry unto you my god that you come and save us oh dear lord Almighty. father god i pray that you bless even our teachers my father that you will continue my god to bless them and even to anoint them and use them even in greater heights for these children my father we bless you lord and we honor you for allowing us to minister this morning and now god i pray for a peaceful week my father that this week we shall continue my father to hear your word my god we shall continue to understand your word my father the holy spirit will continue to burn in us my father the holy spirit will help us worship you my father we bless you and honor you in jesus holy and mighty name we pray and believe amen hallelujah amen up up jesus down, down, Satan, glory be to God. Hooray! And now may the grace of, of our, our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the love of God and, and the, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and, and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and, and mercy shall, shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you, children. Please, teacher, say bye to the children. Bye. See you next time. Thank you. Yeah.